Hello, I'm Gwyneth Hughes and I'm a reader in higher education at the Institute of Education, UCL. And I'm Eleanor Hargreaves and I'm the uh, senior lecturer at uh, the Institute of Education at UCL. So we're just going to say a little bit about why we chose to do this special issue on assessment literacy. Um, now the terms uh, digital literacy and um, uh, academic literacies have been around for quite a long time and then this term assessment literacy kept cropping up and I thought, we thought, well what does exactly does it mean, how people are using it, who does it apply to? And it seems that what generally what people mean is that assessment literacy is something that goes beyond um, uh, the sort of grammar of assessment, you know, understanding yeah. the rules and regulations and it's about um, developing uh, and um, getting a deeper understanding um, from assessment. Yes. So perhaps yes. you might say a bit more about that. Yes, well the area that I'm particularly interested in is, is feedback um, within assessment literacy and understanding um, how feedback works and why it works. Um, and I think this is an issue that many, many teachers mm. in higher mm. education and in schools um, want to grapple with, it's been recognised how important feedback is for learning, but how to get it right, that's the problem, how to make it effective in the particular class you're in. And in the special issue, we've got um, people from higher education mm. and from schools, mm. secondary mm. schools and primary schools, who are looking um, at assessment literacy, including feedback. Mm. And looking at a range of assessment literacy of teachers, of students and of even external examiners. So yes. it's, it's assessment literacy is something that affects a, a wide range of people in an in, in education setting. Indeed. And even if some people don't realise how much it affects mm. them, that's mm. partly what we're aiming to that's do, right, isn't yes. it? It's to sort raise of a, awareness. Raise awareness of assessment literacy, yes. And, and also, but also to consider whether it is actually a useful term, or is it it's just a mysterious term, people don't know what it means. So in these articles, people do look at, well, I think, well, obviously they do find it useful, otherwise they probably wouldn't have put their article in our collection. But, but um, why? Is it, is it a useful term, or does it need a bit more redefining and a bit more... Um, attention to what it what you actually mean by it. Yes, and we've we found that it's of great interest not only in the UK but also overseas. We've got one contribution from Pakistan, for example, mm, mm. where it's just as much an issue but perhaps in a, in a different way. Mm. So we hope you all have a look at the articles. We've got um, lot full-length articles and some shorter reflective articles and there's also some book reviews as part of the special edition. So we hope you'll find something of interest.